What's up beautiful people? Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna Lee, aka Jen Sparkly, commander of the Sparkle Army. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Welcome to my little corner of the internet and I hope you'll stay. Today is episode two in my new series that I'm calling This Week in Sparkle. In this series, I really just want to touch on a handful of news stories or interesting pieces that I stumbled across this week. Sometimes it's going to be current events. Sometimes it's just a neat story that I found and thought I'd want to share with you guys. But it's always just going to be kind of a, a grab bag of different topics, different things. Sometimes there are going to be topics that are controversial. And with that, I want to hear what you think. But like I always say, there is a respectful and polite way to express your opinion. And if you cannot do that, you will get the Sparkle Army three-step treatment. Step one, you'll be mocked. Step two, you'll be blocked. And step three, you'll be forgotten. Mocked, blocked, forgotten, no questions asked. So... I know that with all of my regular Sparkle Army members, you guys are all sweethearts and you're always respectful and I've never once had a single problem with anyone in the Sparkle Army as far as opinions. Everyone has always spoken their piece very respectfully. Even if you don't agree with me, if you just say, well, I don't agree with you, here's why. Tell me why because I'm, I don't ever shut someone out just for disagreeing. If you feel differently than me, tell me why. Because then I can learn something, you know? That's what kills me about people who automatically just say, oh, fucking conservatives or, oh, fucking libtards. Like, when you do that, you put yourself in a box where you cannot grow. If you only put yourself in an echo chamber surrounded by people who are telling you the exact same thing you're telling them, you never learn anything new. That said, first piece of news this week, Toys R Us is shutting its doors. That's heartbreaking because I know that lots of us grew up being Toys R Us kids. For me, it hits even closer to home because my brother, roommate, best friend is a manager at a Babies R Us. And yes, they are under the same umbrella and yes, they're all closing. And... Uh, my brother's been there for five years. He loves his job. He loves his regulars. He loves his employees. And I know that he is not happy that the doors are closing. My brother has put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into the store he works in. He personally tiled the floor in the bathrooms. He's done some of the work on the sinks. He's, he's done a lot of the maintenance work around there just keeping the place going. And... Uh, he knows every department, backwards and forwards. He's, he's worked front of house, back of house, freight, shipping, receiving, returns. He's done it all. And uh, 30,000 people, just like my brother, are losing their jobs. So it sucks. And I see a lot of people online saying, oh, I love Toys R Us, but did you shop there? And I, now people are saying, oh, well, we want to go shop there before they close. Well, where were you when they needed you? Like, it sucks. It sucks. Um, Amazon, Walmart, Target have obviously really cornered the market. And they are basically like the equivalent of a steamroller. Just destroying it, was, it started out just being mom and pop businesses, and now major corporations are falling by the wayside. It's, uh, it's scary because, I mean, yeah, there are things, there are baby things at Walmart, but, you know, babies are us carried higher end stuff. Like, you can get a decent crib at Walmart, but if you want something really, really nice, something that you can hand down, a nice piece of furniture, you want to go to a furniture store, you want to go to Babies or Us. Same thing like with toys. Yes, Walmart has a huge toy selection. They do. But people like me, those of us who are wrestling fans and love action figures, you want to go to Toys R Us because, yeah, Walmart has stuff, but Toys R Us gets better exclusives. And bottom line is it just sucks. 
What do you think about Toys R Us slash Baby R Us closing? Let me know. Next up, the Rihanna Snapchat controversy. If you don't know about this, um, apparently one of the ads for a game on Snapchat had a, a would you rather proposition. It said, would you rather slap Rihanna or punch Chris Brown? After a massive backlash, obviously it was deleted. Fans thought it was disgusting. Rihanna spoke out in a message just saying, no, my personal feelings aren't hurt because there's not much of that left. Those were her exact words. She's like, but for you to minimize male and female victims of sexual or domestic abuse and turning it into a joke, that's absolutely unacceptable and uncalled for. And right now, Snapchat's not in the best place. You know, this update is garbage. I'll be the first to tell you I don't like it. Normally when a system updates or an app updates, it doesn't bother me that much, but I don't like the flow of this one. I'm constantly having to like double back, like wait, okay, all right. So, okay, my story's here. Okay, well, I just wanted to watch the Jeffree Star story. Why am I now watching a now this video? What the, no, I don't like it. So what are y'all's thoughts? How tacky was that? Um, next up, uh, and this is a big one, and I'm going to preface it with this. I never in a million years thought that I would agree with Jake Paul on anything, but here we go. Jake Paul recently spent a considerable amount of time visiting Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, the setting of the most recent shooting. Uh, he spoke at length with students, with administrators, with teachers, and really put together a very thought-provoking piece on it. And in the end, he actually made some suggestions that while might not all be applicable, I applaud him for using his platform to not just give the usual, oh, thoughts and prayers. No, he spoke up and said, well, you know what? Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. And I applaud him for it. Uh, I respect the hell out of him for it. He mentioned... Um, like collapsible tactical gear that could fit into the sleeve of like a laptop sleeve on your backpack where God forbid if it happens you have a way to somewhat protect yourself. He mentioned having more resource officers on campus who could check like student IDs if that had happened that day that garbage person who shall not be named might not have made it on campus. So I will have a link in the description to get to Jake's video. I recommend you watch it. He doesn't hit gun control, which I can appreciate why he didn't, because there is a discussion within a discussion that gun control, I'm very iffy about, because like I've said before, I feel like if you tighten the laws on guns, the only people who feel that tightening are the people who are already following the law. People who aren't supposed to have guns, are they're going to get them anyway. So tightening the laws, you're just basically putting more restrictions on the already law-abiding people. So I can't fall in line with that whole gun control thing. There's a workable solution. I just don't know what it is with that. But Jake comes at it from a totally different angle of not even with gun control in the picture. He does touch on it in a later tweet, but he does talk about, well, but what about this, 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 and this? These are all things that we can do. Further going into that, this week marked the one-month anniversary of those shootings, and students all across the country often uh, protested, whether it was just a quiet walkout. Uh, several schools, uh, obviously, students tweeted out that they were not allowed to participate, that they were being physically barred from walking out of doors. Several schools had assemblies or fire drills during that exact time period, which was like down to the minute, one month from when it happened. Um, I know one student in Indiana claimed that they were barred from leaving campus, so all of the students met in the gym, took 17 moments of silence, and read aloud the names of the victims. Um, 
What do you guys think? I'm all for peaceful and respectful protest, and I feel like you have just as much chance, apparently, of getting shot in your classroom, so why not speak up and make your voices heard? There was a huge protest on the south lawn of the Capitol where 7,000 pairs of shoes were left representing the 14,000, 7,000 or 14,000 children who died from gun violence in the last year. It's sobering when you see it. Um, step three from that story, garbage person was arraigned in court today. I find it curious that as he was escorted in, fully shackled, he tried to look as meek and as sad as possible. The time for being sad is over, and I will not have one ounce of pity for you now or ever, because I know I bring it up a lot again, but Columbine happened when I was a junior in high school, and like I've said, I have researched it consistently since it happened, and 15 people died that day, but it doesn't stop with 15 people. That's 15 families. That's 15 neighborhoods. That's 15 sets of childhood friends. That's 15 extended families. That's 15 circles of friends. Do you see what I mean? How the family, then the circle of friends, your church, jobs that you've had, other places you've lived. Do you see how expansive it gets when you really think about it? How many lives are impacted by that? 15 deaths in Columbine. And years later, there are still... Anne-Marie Hochalter, one of the girls who was left in a wheelchair after being shot, her mother ended up committing suicide years later. There have been other student suicides. Um, one of the friends of Matt Kector also killed at Columbine. One of his friends committed suicide. There had Benjamin Stair, who was accused of being one of the gunmen and apparently was never able to live it down, whether or not he was involved or not. He committed suicide in 2008. So the implications of these things are massively far-reaching, and it doesn't just stop with prayers and thoughts, prayers and thoughts, positivity and light. It doesn't end there. You are destroying lives. And so for all of the kids who did protest, for all of the kids who found a way to make their voices heard, I salute each and every one of you. I am proud of every single one of you. In your life, there will always be people trying to silence you, trying to tell you that what you have to say doesn't matter. And you have to make the choice of, do I speak up or do I allow this person to silence me? And for those of you who are in a, in a position to speak up, I applaud you for not being silenced. Keep using your voice because you matter. You are the future. You matter. And I am proud of every single one of you for protesting. Um, off that, let's go to a couple of lighthearted topics. You guys know I'm a huge pro wrestling fan. This week, we found out that Jeff Jarrett was going into the WWE Hall of Fame after a very acrimonious split from the company many years ago. And uh, because of that, one of my absolute favorite wrestling YouTubers, Dave Knows Wrestling, uploaded from his Honest Promo series, the Honest Promo on Jeff Jarrett. If you're not familiar with Dave Knows Wrestling, but you're a wrestling fan, you definitely need to check out his channel. He's a good buddy of mine. I love him to pieces. And he makes some of the most interesting, informative, humorous wrestling content on the web. I'll definitely link to the Honest Promo down below and definitely check out his channel. And finally, I want to end on a high note just because y'all know I'm an animal fanatic, an animal lover, an outspoken advocate for animal rescue. And this week, the Dodo shared the story of Lady Shortcake. The pit bull with the infectious smile. 
the story of how she was abandoned on a street with a bad case of the mange, her family adopting her, and where she is now. It's a heartwarming little story, and it just reminds you that pit bulls are amazing, amazing pets. They love people. They love children. Don't bully that breed. And with that is this week in Sparkle. I hope you guys learned something new, heard something interesting. Again, I will give you links to everything I discussed in the description box so that you can watch the videos, form your own opinion, kind of get a feel for maybe where I'm coming from, and let me know in the comments below, how do you feel? Talk to me about any of the stuff I just talked about in the comments below. Don't forget, all of my social media links are in the contents below, as are all my coupon codes. Lashes, makeup, shoes, clothes, sunglasses, you name it, I can save you money on it. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be a member of the Sparkle Army. With that, I love y'all, and I will see you next time. Stay beautiful.